Hey Garu, a nice win. The black pieces went according to plan. What happened? Um, it was a Pyrrhic modern uh, that turned kind of into King's Indian. Um, so yeah, I mean, I kind of got what I wanted. I was surprised when um, when my opponent did not take uh, Ampasan on e6 after I played e5. Um, but I thought the way he played was quite principled, and then he kind of he just used too much time and lost his nerve because like this whole idea with c6, I think was completely fine. Um, but he kind of had to then play f3, f4, and some knight c4, b5, a4, a5, and play for b6. Um, but he got afraid of the whole kingside attack, so kind of, I mean, he got caught in between, used too much time, and then he just, I mean, blundered with this knight f3 um, move. Although it's, it still was complicated, though he, he only had like a minute left, so it was going to be too hard for him. But uh, still, it's, it's good, certainly, to start off with a win, so I'm pretty, pretty happy. When he went c4, c5, it looked like it was going well for white. Where exactly did he go wrong? I mean, it was basically at the end when he played bishop c4 and knight f3. Um, he should have played f3, f4, and then like um, some some combination of b5, knight c4, a4, a5, b6. Um, again, it's not really clear uh, who's quicker because I'm going to go like g5, g4, g3, maybe, or gf3, depending. So it's not 100% clear, but I think kind of once once he went for this and he didn't uh, play d takes e6 on passant, I mean, he kind of was forced uh, to go for this, so he, he really just needed to keep his nerve and, and uh, play, play his continuation. And when he didn't, I mean, it just it went wrong uh, immediately. He was really short on time, and when you played knight d5, there was this really pretty geometry with attack on f2 and the rook on a1. Do you suppose he missed that? Um, I mean, I, I think already after knight f7, he's in trouble. If he played bishop b2, followed by knight d7, it still was, I think, a game. wasn't completely clear what's going on. Um, I should be a little bit better, but it wasn't wasn't uh, winning. Whereas in the game, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, just winning after knight d5. Although, I mean, I think even queen e7, knight takes a8, knight g4 is also winning as well, and that's probably prettier. So, um, I, I you know, but it's basically I had a choice of wins, and it's the simplest one. So it's, uh, it's, it's always nice to spot a tactic like knight d5. Right now, we often see you put this pressure on your opponent when it comes to time, especially there's this big gap between their clock and what's going on in yours. Is that, is that part of your strategy to kind of try to play fast? And uh, for you, the time is as important as the position on the board. Um, yeah, I think when you're playing a uh, weaker player, significantly weaker, I should say, um, time comes into play much more because, like, especially if you're black, you're, it's not easy to get an advantage. I mean, it's like you look at what I did or what Levon's doing, it's kind of, you, you, you try to just play something random, get a position, make them use their time or blunder any way you can. So um, certainly it plays a big role when you're playing someone who's like three, four hundred points lower. And um, I mean, you should you should try and press them on the clock. It's one of the advantages advantages that stronger players have. They're they're quicker, they think think quicker, and it's more intuitive. So, um, I mean, obviously, it's it's always there if I need it. Right, finally, last question. Uh, you had a look on Lavon's board. How are things going for him? What do you think happened there? Um, it looked like he was in some trouble to me. Um, but again, he's doing what I did. It's kind of, he's black against a much weaker player. He's trying to just create something messy. Um, and uh, trick her in the complications. I mean, I assume he'll find a way to win, but again, if she plays correctly and doesn't make any mistakes, uh, he's not gonna win. But that, that's, always, that's always how it's gonna be when you're playing with black against a much weaker player. All right, thank you very much. We'll see you soon here. Sure. Thanks, Akaru. Okay.